What am I doing here? What is it with this family that keeps drawing me towards them? Ever since I reported on Martha's death, I can't keep away. A feeling of dread keeps growing in me each day, yet I can't resist their lure. I hate this fear and helplessness. It reminds me of when I was a girl. Of him. But I don't want to think about any of that. I tried so hard to forget. Laura? No, Mr. Lazarus. I didn't expect you'd be back so soon. I was trying to clean this place up a bit, but this infestation is too much for me. Oh, God, this place reeks. Uh, please, can you open the windows? Strange. Right now, I would love to go to church. You know, I didn't find out much about my father, but at least I know that he was there and was a good man. That is good, Mr. Lazarus. Listen, your sister is now at the funeral home. They're going to prepare her body. We can hold the funeral this Friday, if that's okay with you. Good evening, Father. Thank you for blessing the house. I don't know if it's your prayers or the incense, but this room hasn't been infested like the others. Prayers will be of little help, unfortunately. We are yet to witness how being abandoned by God feels like. But tell me, have you found anything about Vladimir at the Rosino Monastery? Unfortunately, I didn't find my father, but I did find mentions of him. God. I don't even know if he's still alive. This General Zotov is a demented maniac who kills everyone if he so desires. They're collecting gold. Yes. He is foolishly starving for more power. With gold, he will buy the weak, the easily impressionable. His evil will spread. All we can do now is not let it corrupt us too, Mr. Lazarus. this to improvise something like a flamethrower. Still, I need something to get this thing off the wall. I'm certain we are not close enough to offer each other such gifts.
Hopefully, this is going to work and I don't blow myself up. Doesn't look like my best idea. Mr. Lazarus? Mr. Lazarus, come quickly! The infestation that blocked the door earlier is now gone. And I heard someone inside, Mr. Lazarus. Someone is still alive. Again, a locked door. Ugh, just break it. I don't have a tape. Hello, young man. Oh, hi. What are you doing here? I'm just hiding, waiting for this to end. Are you friends with my father? Yes, indeed. Oh, cool. I was waiting for my parents to come rescue me. These foul creatures blocked the doorway and I couldn't escape. Your parents are dead, young man. What? No. How could that happen? I can't believe it! Do you have any relatives to go to? No, it was just me, mom and dad. I've been here for almost a week. I'm waiting for my girlfriend to call me. We were planning to leave together. Listen, stay here while I try to figure out what the hell happened, all right? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We've received reports of countless deaths from all around the city. As you know, many TV stations have tried to deny the first rumors about a possible infestation. What's even more frightening is that this infestation seems to be spreading over the entire country with the epicenter right here. It's Ludmilla. Why would she accept being photographed like this? General Zotov and the army hmm. to try and stop the pandemic. As a precautionary measure, the Novaya Industries factory reopened under General Zotov's decree. It's a poster with my sister production line for specialized drones to deal with the corpses. The pathogen manifests itself as a reddish, organic matter that spreads in structures of buildings, developing best in moisture. In the most acute forms, there are reports that certain terrible organisms appear, resembling demonic creatures with sharp claws. and all I want is their blood. When I confronted my father about the tape, he just laughed at me, told me my girlfriend was a nice piece of ass, that he did what I was too soft to do myself. That's what a man does. Mom didn't even flinch. She was proud of her wretched husband. She told me that you have to be ruthless if you want to get ahead in this life. I'll show them. I'll show them that I can be even more ruthless than them. I'm going to take the hydrochloric acid from the bathroom and throw it in their faces, as their eyes will burn and they will scream in pain. I'll crush their skulls with a wrench, and then I will spit on their lifeless bodies.
That was a really messed up recording, young man. It's just a recording. I like to write horror stories and record them, just for fun. Is that so? I swear, it's fiction. It's fiction, huh? Is that why your parents are dead in the living room just as you described in your tape? Mr. Lazarus, I think you should see this right now. It's a bunch of disgusting CDs. What the hell is this? He did it! He killed Ludmilla! Mr. Lazarus, hold your horses. That recording is suspicious, but it doesn't confirm anything. Oh, it confirms. It confirms he's a murderer. Have you seen how he stood there and shamelessly lied to us? He said that it was fiction, yet his parents' bodies are just there. I'm going to kill him. Maybe, but try to understand. Perhaps there is more to this story than it seems. There are things that don't add up here. Don't be in a rush to sentence him. I don't give a damn. Ludmilla had her whole life ahead of her. Every dream she had, every hope in life vanished. I worked so hard. I did unspeakable things. I didn't even come to my mother's funeral. All to make money and help my sister leave this hellhole. Only for her to have her skull crushed by that freak. I'll kill that demented maniac. Do not become a monster yourself, Lazarus. You'd better not stand in my way. I'm going to have an intimate discussion with that... Poor excuse of a man. You sick fuck! You murdered my Ludmilla! I'll crush your skull just like you did to her! You're lucky. I could have killed you, but I'm not a murderer. Although I came really close this time. I was foolish and gullible, but 
I can't do anything about it now. In fact, I have no idea what to do at all. I can help you. Listen, I managed to steal the papers from my parents. Don't ask me how. Really? You mean that? Yes, my love. We could leave tonight if you want. I, I want to come with you wherever you go. I don't want to spend another minute in this place. But what about your parents? Won't they try to find us? To hell with them. Don't worry about them anymore. But Shivko, can you really forgive me for what I've done? Do you think we can ever find peace together? We all make stupid mistakes. And we can all do unspeakable things under the wrong circumstances. Wait, there's someone at the door. Meet me in three hours at the church and bring the papers. I'm going to light a candle at my mother's grave one last time. I'll meet you after I come back from the cemetery. You have to be kidding. If he didn't kill Ludmilla, then who the hell did? Why did you leave? I didn't want to witness what you were about to do. I'm sorry I scared you, but the freak is fine. I'm not a murderer after all. You were right. He didn't kill Ludmilla. Someone else did. I found a recording in which the boy talked with my sister about them leaving this place together. While he did kill his parents, he really seemed to love her. They planned to meet after Ludmilla would have returned from the cemetery. That was one week ago. But then someone knocked at the door. The murderer? Yes. This is all becoming too much, Lazarus. Maybe we should just stop and leave this place ourselves after Lumila's funeral. I can't do that. I have to find out what happened to her. I have a bad feeling about all of this. It's like a suffocating darkness surrounds us with every passing hour. But if you choose to stay, I'll be by your side until the end of it. I would like to talk to you in person, though, before the funeral. Can we meet somewhere? I have something to confess to you. Listen, if you have something to tell me, you know where to find me. Lazarus, please. Lazarus. 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 Oh my god! No, please! Wake up! Help! Father, I saw her. Am I going crazy? It's not her. It is the evil spirit that dwells in this house. It can take many forms, especially now that her death was so brutal. Don't let fear and guilt overtake you, my son. Let the love for your sister shield your heart. Our journey ended before it even began. Father Abraham told me that you served your apprenticeship at the Rosenau Monastery. I want to visit the place where you became closer to God. The monastery where you became a monk. I'll ask the monks about you. 
Before we meet, I want to know everything. Mom wanted to be buried near this monastery, thinking that this way she'll be closer to you. Near the old orphanage, there's a very beautiful church that was also abandoned in 87. Thousands of pilgrims came from all around the country to pray, but it was closed after the fire. Why? After Rosanna, you served as a teacher at a really old orphanage near Bran. The orphanage was founded by the Romanian Orthodox Church, but it burned in 87. I wonder what happened. I'm alone. Mom? She's dead. Lazarus. He left me alone when I needed him most. Dad, where are you? Father Abraham told me that you may have left a while ago to Ukraine. I'll come find you. But first, I want to learn more about the life you led. You didn't make it. That night, you were murdered. I'm sorry, Ludmila. But I'll continue your journey. Will there be an end to all of this? The orphanage near the Bran village. That place holds many secrets. Near the river, you'll see some ruins of an old church. But be careful. Your experience there will be eye-opening. You may not like what you'll see there. You'll either strengthen your faith in God, or lose it forever. I left towards the Bran orphanage to continue the search for my father. My mind kept going over all I had found out about my sister, of how little I knew about her life. I always thought of her as the little kid who stayed behind when I left home. But people don't freeze in time just because you stop being by their side. 